wait for the camera to load up properly. There we go. All right. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Sunday episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted, the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. I know I'm looking a bit baggy-eyed at the moment, but basically recently I've just been taking a long holiday off from work. Well, a long weekend holiday off from work, uh, just because... Oh, I just needed some rest recently, so that's probably the reason why I'm looking at it baggy-eyed. So, uh, yeah, sorry if this uh, this episode and the one on Friday was a bit low energy. I didn't do one yesterday just because I, I, don't know, I just didn't really feel in the mood for one. Some, I, I, I know obviously it's just like, oh, what you don't feel in the mood for recording yourself reviewing a beer, but like you got to think as well. It's like as simple as these videos are, and even though they're not the, like the most high-effort videos in the world, um, if I'm not in like a good mood or like I haven't got a good level of energy then chance of them being entertaining are probably been going to be quite low, really. So, yeah, but um, basically, a bit of a side story, actually. I decided to uh, cancel my subscription to the BrewDog Beer Box uh, subscription monthly thing, uh, just purely because I think the quality of the beers that they have been sending me recently just haven't been up to par. And not only that, but the box they sent me this month one of the beer cans was dented, so I was just like, right, that's not acceptable, really. For the amount of money you're paying for it, it's you would be expecting better for, like, 20 quid a month. So, no, no, not going there again. I'm going to go to a different uh, subscription service in the future, like, say, a Mystery Beer Box or Beer 52. Not sponsored by either of those, but, you know, I, uh, I was with Beer 52 for a little while, and, you know, the quality of their service was pretty good, actually. So, yeah, why not? But anyway... On to today's episode, which is another one of the uh, beers from the last uh, beer box I'll be getting from BrewDog. And this one is called A Bit Too Much People Like Us, which is probably the most hippie-ish, pretentious title for a beer I've had in quite some time. Because it literally describes no characteristics about the drink. It doesn't imply anything about the drink at all. And the design of the can is... What the fuck is this? Like... You've got a giant penis sausage finger on some weird CalArts cartoon can with, like, this really badly drawn dog leash, you know, uh, going way too far around the can up to the brew dog uh, mascot here, the brew dog dog. And then you've got these two sort of um, characters here. It's like, what is that design? Like, the colours are nice, to be fair, but the, the artwork is just... Nonsense. I'm sorry, that this is a badly designed can. I like it when people are artistic, but if it at least means something, but yeah, the design of this can is pretty bad, so I respect it for the fact that they were at least colourful and creative, but yeah, 2 out of 10 for the design of this can. This is nonsense, especially considering as well that they don't actually describe what kind of beer it is on the can. Um, yeah, I can't see it here on here anyway. Like, is this a Pilsner? Is it a IPA? What is it? You know what? I'll quickly check the book that came with this uh, month's box. And we'll see what it says in here. If it actually says anything. People like us, right. No, I don't think it says what kind of beer it is. Oh. Right, well. Great, that's uh, that's very encouraging. Anyway, but let's have a quick sniff there. Maybe, it, you know, the first impressions of it are actually better than I'm giving it credit for. So, let's see. Hmm, not bad. Kind of like a um, vanilla-y candified papaya sort of smell. A little bit of a juiciness in there. Yeah, it smells nice. It's just, again, I'm not really sure what I'm drinking here, but um, to be fair, the nose is pretty good, so I'll give it a respectable 7 out of 10. It, it could do with a bit more refinement and the sweetness could be toned back a bit, but generally speaking, it's pleasant to smell. So, yeah, nice stuff. I'm getting a good impression from the smell alone, but as always, Quick palate cleanser of water first thing. And then on to the most important part of the video is just to uh, see whatever the hell this thing is, that, uh, see what it tastes like, I guess. So, 
Yeah. Oh god, that's kind of bound. It's a IPA, I think, but it's so lopsided in terms of its flavour, it's all concentrated at the start. There's this explosion of bitterness, and then there's just not much flavour. Although there is this interesting little through line of vanilla that goes towards the end, but... Yeah, that's pretty bland. Um, 6.6% 6 6 alcohol volume. Wow, that's pretty hench for a beer. I mean, it doesn't taste like a 6% beer, but I tell you what, after a few sips, I am feeling that it's a 6% beer, but... I don't know, it's not a bad drink, but... I'm getting the impression that it's kind of like got the texture and the bitterness of an IPA with, like, the... Uh, juiciness of a juicy pale ale but then like there's this weird vanillary through line so to be fair there's a bunch of ideas and concepts here that are interesting enough but generally speaking this is a pretty bland and forgettable beer that I'm going to give a 5.25 out of 10 to really not that much to tolerate home about not awful I wouldn't complain if someone gave me a can of this but I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to get to either but I suppose you could do worse but yeah I don't know make of it what you guys will I to be fair out of the ones that I haven't had a great sense of joy about, this is one of those ones where I could imagine someone genuinely enjoying it. And if someone said, oh, I really like that one, I'd, you know, I'd be like, okay, fair enough. But I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. I just don't think it's particularly noteworthy. The flavours are kind of unrefined. There's nothing really in the finish. Um, it's overall just kind of bland and forgettable. It doesn't do anything necessarily awful. It's just a bit, you know. But then again, I suppose that's better than being awful, so, yeah, who knows. But if you guys liked this video, or you disagreed or agreed with anything I said, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to all that in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, take mask with you to the shop, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booth. Bye-bye for now.